Hi guys, so in this video we are going to be solving a really simple and easy problem from Code Forces problem set. And it's called a Spitya and Strings. And what this thing wants us to do is compare two given strings lexographically. When they say lexographically, it's more like comparing alphabets in the orders. So like A is the first alphabet, that's so it's given a value of 1. And B is second alphabet given a value of 2. And similarly it goes on till Z. So what they given two strings and what you have to output is either zero or one or minus one and this depends on the both the strings you compare them lexicographically and you say okay if both of them have the same value be it uppercase or lowercase if it's all the same then you give zero like for the first example you can see all four of them have zero out here a and all four of them also have a out here you just just think of it as all in lowercase so both are equal so it's zero and let's go to the second one here if you see i just convert the whole thing to lowercase and then we compare the first two are equal like a b a b but the third letter which is s in the first string and z in the second string s is smaller like it, the position of s alphabetically is lesser than z so you give a minus one but if it's greater like in this case you have g which is greater than f you give a plus one so basically this is how you do it and in java we'll be doing this really easily because we have a function called as dot compare to which compares two strings and it returns a particular value based on what you get at the uh, string like in comparison so that's what we'll be doing so i'll be using IntelliJ, and this one doesn't need a lot so i'll just give it as main and write everything in main function so to get an input, I'll be using buffer reader. So let's go ahead and import java.io. And to compare, uh, you need java.util. So let's import that too. So I've imported both of these. And since I'll be using buffer reader, it throws an exception. So we'll have to write that too. So throws IO exception. You have to say that because we'll be using buffer reader and uh, let's go ahead and use buffer reader buffer reader pr is equal to new buffer reader new input stream reader and system dot io okay now that's done and first we have to get uh system dot in sorry not io slight error over there system dot in now we have to get both these strings so to get the strings i'll be using just a little string str1 and we'll write as br dot read line okay so that's the first string and similarly we'll get another string we'll call this dot br dot read line so we've got two strings okay. now you know there are uppercase letters and lowercase so i just want to convert the whole thing to lowercase so it's easy str1 is equal to str1 dot 2 lowercase and str2 is equal to str2 dot 2 lowercase str2 uh, yeah. this thing which is which you give inside is just something that i do so that there's no error when you, when you compare it when you convert it now we'll be comparing both the strings and we'll just give it an if else statements so if you uh, input oh no, if str1 dot uh, compare to uh, str2 now when they are equal compare to returns a zero now if it returns a zero we'll say system dot out dot print ln and you print a zero else if str1 dot compared to of str2 if it returns something which is greater than zero so when it returns something greater than zero means that str1 is greater than str2 and we have to print a one in that case so system dot out dot print ln and we have to print a one uh, but and if, if it's else any other case then we have to print a minus one system dot out dot print ln 
of minus one. That's that's it. That's the function. It's really done quick. So now I've saved it. Let me go ahead and just re. Yep. So we browse a file. Yeah, that's it. We are done. Our submission has been accepted. So this is a really easy function. So basically, from this video, you would have learned the inbuilt function in Java, which is called as compare to, and that can be used to do it. So that's it from me in this video, and thanks a lot for watching.